As we look back to the 23rd of March and the government announcement that placed the UK into lockdown in an attempt to control the spread of coronavirus, it was hard to imagine that 12 weeks on that we would still be in lockdown and that our business would need to change and adapt to and respond to a global pandemic. As a proud UK manufacturer, to stop doing what we do on a day-to-day -day basis that has made us the UK's number one showering manufacturer was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. Next year, our Myra Showers brand will be 100 years old and that doesn't just happen by chance. Over that time, we've faced many challenges and we face into this challenge with the same passion and ingenuity that has defined us as a company. We refocused our efforts on supporting our amazing NHS, continuing to build RADA products for hospitals, mobilising a team to build face shields, and as well as using our manufacturing assembly capabilities to build critical care ventilators. When we were approached to become a partner on one of the government's ventilator projects, we didn't hesitate to accept. We knew that we had the expertise in our manufacturing and assembly capability, as well as the passion and the skill sets in our people to deliver what was required. This project has been a huge undertaking, but one that's one of the proudest moments in, in my career, and I'm sure in the history of the company. We've created a manufacturing system design and implemented that and a clean room environment that goes with that in a factory in a factory to produce ventilators. And not least, we've had a group of talented individuals come together who've been trained and were ready to go to produce ventilators in, in large volume. The assembly and testing of a ventilator is, is fairly complicated, but part of the reason that we've been selected as a partner to support this is some of those complexities are very similar to those that we'd face when we normally design and develop and introduce a manufacturing system for electric and digital showers. And in fact, some of the test kit that we've used for testing the ventilators is, is very similar to the test equipment we'd use in terms of developing and testing electric showers. I couldn't be prouder of the team of people we've had working on this project. They've shown passion, determination and attention to detail. They've dedicated many long hours to this project and all of that has combined to ensure this project has been a real success. It's been amazing to be part of something like this and to be working on something so important. I'm extremely proud that we rose to the challenge and met the need of the government at that particular time. Thankfully, the ventilators are no longer required, but through our manufacturing capability, the flexibility and skills of our people, I know that we can react quickly to whatever's thrown at us. I'd like to recognise and thank the team for their dedication and getting this project to the stage that it's at. Without that, it simply wouldn't have happened.